<laughs> I'm actually business analyst, so guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yekaterina Bobenko, and I work as business analyst at Nordis. Here at Nordis, business analysts are fully integrated inside of the product team. In my case, it's Top 11, a game that millions of people play every day and generate a lot of data for us. Our job as business analysts is to provide the insights from the data and then identify potential improvement areas in forms of action steps. My name is Marko Dinic and I'm a data scientist working on Top 11. The main responsibility of data scientists is to extract insights and identify patterns in data using a combination of statistical analysis, machine learning, and programming skills in order to improve user experience and business. Data scientists at Nordius perform A-B test analysis. They develop ML models which deliver recommendations to our users and they participate in different kinds of calculations and simulations which are then used for system design and matchmaking. Uh, we solve different types of problems. For example, how to determine where uh, changes inside of game KPIs come from and how they impact the business. How to offer the best possible value to our players given their characteristics. How to translate high-level business goals inside of actionable data-driven decisions in the game development. How to deal with uncertainty and try to predict how the decisions and the actions we make today would shape the tomorrow's outcome. I studied in the Faculty of Economics, mostly focusing on application of mathematical methods. Uh, when I graduated, it wasn't clear to me what uh, role I would fit best. So I worked in various fields, uh, from electronic stores and beer business, and in various departments, from finance to sales to IT, acquiring various skill sets and uh, diverse expertise. To me, a turning point was a realization that with the data, businesses make a lot better and smarter decisions than without it. Also, having a diverse background turned out to be beneficial, as I was uh, able to see a bigger picture better and understand how different parts of the business are connected to each other. I studied computer science and informatics, and that's actually where my data science journey started, almost 10 years ago. The idea of combining several disciplines to extract the best out of data seemed very interesting to me. So I decided to start selecting courses during my studies to create a curriculum on my own. And I also found a lot of good material and courses online. Let me illustrate through the example. Say our PM has a goal to increase revenue by X percent. What business analysts would do next would uh, think of how they can answer this question using the data we have in the game or other data sources. Then they choose appropriate methodology to conduct the analysis, and afterwards they try to extract insights from this analysis and provide concrete data-driven action steps to the business to achieve the goal. Now that we have some insights about our revenue, we might want to try out different versions of some feature to try to improve it. So we run an A-B test. Or we might try improving the revenue by introducing an ML model which will deliver custom recommendations tailored for each user. This is where a data scientist takes over. So business analysts, they most closely work with product managers. They help them set the directions for the potential improvements of the game, or help them to identify the risks and ways to mitigate them. Data scientists collaborate with product managers and game designers when we're working on a setup of an A-B test, when we work on system design or matchmaking, or when we want to introduce some ML model to agree on the metrics we actually want to optimize. Once we have the solution ready, we collaborate with devs to see how we can deploy it. We also collaborate with game designers to ensure that their design corresponds our business objectives or help them to optimize the current design. We work with developers to make sure that we collect all the relevant analytics from the game to monitor its performance. Directly, business analysts work closely with the product team and are involved in the entire game development process. And our decisions that we make are data-driven. For example, uh, what kind of banner should we put as a highest priority on the home screen in the game? Data scientists play a big role in shaping the game. A-B tests we analyze 
help us determine in which direction to go with some feature. By working on system design and matchmaking with product managers and game designers, we are able to directly impact the journey of our users. And by delivering ML models, we are able to identify patterns in our data, which we can use to optimize the experience of our managers. In mobile gaming, we have a lot of data at our disposal. So with proper feature engineering, we are able to train powerful ML models, which take many things into account to deliver the best experience to our users. Mobile gaming industry is unlike any industry I worked in before. It's extremely competitive. It evolves all the time. Uh, games are constantly tweaked, optimized, improved, and it's nearly impossible to do anything in the game without looking into data. We iterate and uh, experiment a lot, so we rely on analytics. In my opinion, it's active listening and critical thinking. Active listening helps you to make sure that you really deeply understand the problem you're trying to solve and make sure that the analysis you're conducting is going to help you to solve the problem. Critical thinking is important because it keeps big picture in mind, as it's really easy to get sidetracked with many details and possible directions that is also known as analysis paralysis. One thing that often gets overlooked in data science is understanding the problem space you're working in. What can help with this is doing a proper exploratory analysis before moving on to heavier tools such as models and simulations. In case of gaming domain, you should try wearing these analytical glasses while playing the game, try to deconstruct the mechanics behind the game and understand the players. Once you have solid understanding about the game and about the players, you can move on to other tools such as models, simulations and so on.